Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap and I'm going to make some more Angel Baby tonight. I'm completely out of it and I love this scent. It smells so good. So I am going to do it um, the same colors that I used the last time and kind of the same design but I'm going to try to improve upon it. Basically I'm using, um, this is a Deep Rose from Be Scented and Oriental Red from, I got it from uh, eBay. And then, so it's kind of like a burgundy red. And then I've got Activated Charcoal. And now that I'm looking at how much color I put in here, I don't know that it's gonna be enough. I'm probably gonna have to put more in, but whatever. And then Titanium Dioxide. So, um, and the last time I used the um, Super Sparkle uh, Mica, but didn't really show up for me, so I don't think I'm gonna use that this time. Um, and we're just gonna kinda see how the pour goes because I have something in my mind that I wanna do, and hopefully it'll work. And then on the top, I made these little, like, lace doilies kind of they're made from melt and pour and um, they were very very tedious to make so I'll show you guys how I did them but tedious work so I used this silicone um, fondant mold and I poured this is melt and pour with the um, with shimmering white cloud mica. Poured it over, and then I like literally carved off the bottom layer so that I could have it be um, like lace instead of it being all um, filled up with soap in all of these little uh, I don't know what you want to call, it, but the openings. It was all filled with soap. I carved off the bottom layer so that it would be all open. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. And basically I want my top to be red and black and then put those over it um, so the red and black shows through. I think that'll be really pretty. And that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and get started. Soaping warmer than usual tonight, so we'll see how that goes. I typically soap at room temperature. Tonight, I didn't even, I'm a bad soaper. I did not, uh, I don't know what the temperature is. I just know it's warm still. A little bit hot even still. <laughs> But I'm not really, I don't know why, I'm just not concerned. I, I think it'll be fine. I'm not going to put my fragrance in until I've mixed my colors. And there we go, we've already got emulsion. I'm go ahead and stop there. And we'll get our colors mixed. And then I'll put my fragrance in and then we'll get to pouring. And like I said, I'm kind of doing a, I don't know, an in my mind pour. <laughs> Taiwan Swirl is kind of one of my favorites, and I really wish I could do a Mantra Swirl. Um, but I don't have the, um, the dividers for my molds. Otherwise, I would, I'd probably be doing a mantra swirl all the time because I think it's so beautiful. But um, anyways, I'm going to try to do something kind of like a Taiwan swirl, but, but not quite. Let's see. I think that'll probably be enough of my colors. I want kind of a lot of white. Not a lot, a lot, but I want more white than I want my colors. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Where did I put my mini whisk? I thought it was down here. It is. All right. Oh, you know what? My This is going to be fine for my color. The red is plenty dark enough. That looks good. Let's see. And even if my black is a little more like charcoal, I'm okay with it because I don't like to put too much activated charcoal. I mean, this is going to still be pretty dark. All right, there we go. I'm going to put my titanium dioxide in here. There's like two little black dots in here. I've got to try to get them out. I didn't get it. There's a little teeny tiny one. Oh, I think I got that one. There it is. what that is but all right I really kind of wanted a little bit wider so I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny bit more in there So now, if, if I remember correctly, um, the Angel Baby, I think it accelerates a bit. Um, not like anything crazy crazy, but I do think it accelerates a little bit. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to wait to put my fragrance oil in. I know exactly what these little black dots are. Somehow there was a couple pieces of soap from my last batch on my stick blender. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get my fragrance oil in and then we'll start our pour. love love this scent and you know I don't even know how to describe it but it is just so good very very pretty scent all right I'm gonna go ahead and mix that into my red To my black. I may even run my stick blender through those if they don't start to thicken up a bit. And 
And this fragrance oil is really yellow, but I don't remember it discoloring my white the last time. What in the heck? Oh, it's starting to thicken up. It almost seems like it's rising a bit, but yeah, I think it is a bit. I don't... put some of my white in. I'm not going to be able to do exactly what I was planning on doing, but it's okay. Yeah, I got it. Stick blend this out. Well, so I don't remember it rising the last time, but it sure is tonight. Okay. Um, I just got to get my colors kind of in here together. Do both of them at one time. I want to do some, basically some stripes. Kind of like what I did the last time, just in a kind of in a different way. All right, I'm sure you guys can see how thick this is. It's thick like pudding. gosh, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, Jesus, this is thick. Holy crap. Alright. Wow. Okay, well. It's life. You guys know that's life, and you know I've dealt with this plenty of times before. Jeez, oh, it's not what I was looking to do tonight, but <laughs> well, oh my gosh, look at the red on this side. Maybe even a little on this side. Alright, so I gotta get the rest of that black in there. And then pound this thing down and then get my swirl done. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
This is nuts. Okay. I'm going to bring it over here and just pound it. All right. And I'm going to have to pound the crap out of this thing so that I don't get a ton of air bubbles in it from what I just did. did it on the carpet so it wasn't like loud as can be. Alright, I'm gonna clean out my sides. Still smells amazing though, I'll tell you that much. And then all right, and then the last like real good cleanup. There we go, that looks better. I'm going to have to pound it down one more time. Okay. Oh, I don't know how those little lace things are going to look on top of here. But I'm going to still go ahead and give it a try. And then I'm just going to use my skewer here to kind of press it in. Alright, you know, life happens. I just want it to be nice and um, adhered to my soap so that when I cut it I don't have any issues. And I think we'll be all right. It's not exactly what I was um, planning, but that's okay. All right, there we go. I'm just cleaning up the sides a little bit. so thick right now that that's pretty much all I can do even though I really would like maybe I can I kind of would like to smooth down a couple little areas So that's going to have to just be good enough, I guess. Um, yeah. It's going to have to have to do. Oh, 
Well, guys, I uh, like I said, this is not exactly what I was planning on. It doesn't look the way I kind of had in mind, but um, we'll just see how it looks in the morning. You never know how something's really going to turn out until you see it cut and the final product, right? All right, so there we go. That's gonna be that. And there's the top. I'll see you guys tomorrow to cut this beauty. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. See you soon, bye. Hey everybody, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and I'm going to be really honest, I don't like the way it turned out. <clears throat> I'm not, the top didn't turn out the way that I planned it to and then putting the little doilies on top just doesn't look the way I was planning for it to, but it's just the way it goes. Every time I make Angel Baby, it does not turn out the way I want it to. What's up with that? So there's my end piece. And so, basically, when I was freaking out last night because it was rising and accelerating, I did something dumb. I did a a swirl that I need to do the horizontal cut but I put these on top which would be for something that you do a regular bar cut so now I'm faced with the decision do I let my bars look like this or do I do my horizontal cut and leave only some of the bars having two inches worth of this on top and what I decided is I'm going to do the horizontal cut because um, that's basically the swirl that I did. That's where you're going to get the look. And, and I may not even get that because I wasn't able, because basically it's like a two layer thing. So I'm really worried about this. In fact, what I may do is I may cut two inches do the horizontal cut, see what it looks like, and then decide if I may just do bar cuts. That's what I'm going to do. I just decided by talking about it. Talk therapy. All right. So here we go. We'll cut two inch bar here. lovely and I got glycerin rivers oh my gosh oh well that's okay it's all good all right let's set that aside for a minute and let's go ahead and <clears throat> I'm gonna cut the bottom off first make sure you guys can see everything There may be no need to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. There we go. We do have a little bit of a design. Thank the Lord above. Look at that nice big air bubble right there. All right. So at least one side of this bar will have a pretty design. Let's see if we can. Let me see how thick this whole thing is. Two and a half, so I need to do one and a quarter. One and a quarter. You know what? That's exactly where I would have thought that was going to be. I'm pretty good at eyeballing. That's exactly where I thought the middle was, so good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this baby. Nothing. 
Nothing. And there's the top. Yeah. So. I think. This is going to look really cool as you wash though with it. Like as it washes you're going to have a really cool design in there. But for now, like for picture purposes and for sales purposes, this is kind of a weird looking bar of soap. So let's see, what do I want to do? I could just do the rest of them in bars. <sighs> Let's see. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. and learn from my mistakes. I don't know why, but last night that did get me really flustered when that happened. Like typically, I don't feel as flustered as that when I have like things happen. Rising, accelerating, etc. This just looks so weird. I'm really tempted to not cut it like that. I'm going to go ahead and do another one the two inch way and let's see how what happens There's a little heart. Yeah, not, not so much. It's kind of a pretty bar. Looks like a mouth with its tongue sticking out.
and this part's the nose. Got to laugh when stuff like this happens. Pretty much the same thing there. These are all the laugh lines here. If I've done it right, I should be able to get one more full-size bar out of this. Good job, Billy. You did one thing right today. All right. So that last bar actually is kind of cool looking. So basically don't do like me, don't freak out when you have something like what happened. You know, when things rise, when things accelerate, don't forget all about your plan um, like I did last night. Remember to do the right pour. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. A couple of little samples. These are going to be, well, that's fine those in half too. Um, yeah, so don't lose your mind like I did and do something that isn't going to work. The Basically though, so here's what the top of my bars look like. That doesn't look too bad. I didn't like the way it looked all together, but just on one slice it doesn't look too bad to me um, and this literally even though it's not really the prettiest bar it smells so good I just cannot stress that enough it smells so good so you know that's life I mean you can't have a perfect cut every single time right that's right. So I know also this is going to be an amazing bar of soap, even though it's not very pretty. I don't know. I may have to give these away free, though, because I just don't know if I can sell these. They're so ugly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Who wants a free bar? If you pay shipping, I'll... You know what? Here we go. We're going to have a little promotion today. If you guys want a free bar of soap, if you pay for shipping, I will send it to you. Um, yeah, I'm not going to sell these. I, I can't do it. I, I don't like them. They're ugly. They smell so, so good, though. So, yeah, if you want a free bar of soap, message me. And, um, obviously, first come, first serve. And um, I'm going to have to figure out what shipping will be, but I'll put it in the description. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. All right, everybody. So this is what I've got. Seven bars because you know I'm keeping one for myself since I love this scent. I was going to keep one of the bars anyways, and then I'm going to give one to each of my daughters and my mom. So um, the leftover, like I said, I will give away, but... That being said, I want, you know, full disclosure here. These bars are ugly. Look at them. Okay. And I already cleaned them up too. Like I didn't even wait. Usually I don't clean up and like,
clean up the sides and everything until they're a little bit harder, but I just went ahead and I carved them all up. So they're just not, you know, they're an ugly bar of soap. There you go. Look at that. So that being said though, they're ugly, but they're going to be an awesome bar of soap. I mean, they've got cocoa butter, shea butter, um, coconut palm, um, what else? Rice bran and castor. So they're going to be a good bar of soap. What the other thing I wanted to say is when I do this giveaway, I'm going to send them right away. So you're going to need to let them cure. Um, that's up to you how long you want to do it. doesn't matter to me if you start using it right away. You know it may melt away a lot quicker. If you decide to let it cure a proper four to six weeks, good for you. You want to let it cure two weeks, that's fine too. I, you know, whatever you guys want to do is fine with me. Um, also, I mean, this is what I would do. Nobody needs to do it, has to do it, nothing, but... If you want to um, purchase a couple of things in the store to make, you know, and then ship all of it, that's fine too. Just let me know in your comment. If you just want the one bar shipped, let me know. I will ship just the one bar. Um, like I said, I'll let, I'll put it in the comments what it'll cost to ship it. I've got to, um, I've got to figure out. Um, I'm just going to put it into. USPS and see what it'll cost and if you want priority shipping you need to specify that because I could ship this in like a small flat rate um, that would be you know around five dollars a little more than five dollars or if you want it shipped just regular mail then it'll be cheaper so I'll give both the options and you guys can let me know first come first serve first seven people to comment they want it get it Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.